There it goes. Hey everybody, welcome back to When the Zephyr Plays the Binding of Undertale. I'm a little bit better than yesterday because I actually got a decent amount of sleep last night. And am functional. Also, I'm starting this way, way later in the day than I should be, which means I'm going to get less sleep tonight, tonight than I need. Isn't it amazing how that works? Oh, well. Tomorrow's just one more day of eight hours, and then I got two days off from there, so... All I need to do is survive that, and it shouldn't be hard. Um... I don't know what to do today. I didn't get any character requests from, from all y'all. So... I will... Pick somebody. How about Gaster? It's been a really long time. I mean, I've been trying to, like... Trying to lean towards characters with whom I haven't... I haven't, uh... Beaten anything? Be I'm sorry, not beaten anything. Beaten everything yet. Because that's, you know, I'm still trying to... Am I really trying to 100% this? Well, no. But yes. Technically, it's 1,001%. Let's go for Gaster. It's been a while. Quite a quite a while. Let's see what we get. Start with the D20, God's Flesh, and what I can only assume is terrible stats. Okay, that's fine by me. Y'all should step in the fire. Y'all should step in the fire, please. That is not the fire. That is the fire. There we go. Cool. This is an interesting start. Vampirism? Charm of the Vampire really doesn't mean that much to me. If I go right, is that actually going to... I think that should give me access to the coins. Yeah, totally did. You know what? Sure. You know what? No. <gasps> you know what I just noticed? I have the Cancer Trinket. I I didn't even see that when I when I started the run. I didn't even realize that was there. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, all I need now is a Tears Up and I will be, like, swimming in gold. That would be really unpleasant. I would highly recommend against swimming in gold. Because that implies that the gold is molten. And if you're swimming in molten gold, you're probably burning alive. Not even burning, you're just melting. Actually, what? Ooh, I... Well, now I'm suddenly curious about exactly, like, what that would do to a human body if, if you submersed it in molten gold. Other than the obvious, everything would be super hot and your body would burn up. What happened if... What would happen if it's completely... If it's completely enveloped in the gold? Alright? If it's completely enveloped, there isn't going to be any room for uh, any, any, like, like, gases to escape or stuff, or, um... There won't be any oxygen, so nothing will be on fire. It's just going to be really high temperatures. Now, of course, it's a safe assumption that the gases that would be produced from this incredibly high heat reaction would be less dense than the gold itself, which means it would definitely float and there'd be some bubbles, and I should probably get off this train of thought before things start getting too morbid and I get on some watch list for my search history. Also, I really feel like I should have grabbed a bottle of water before I started. <laughs> Probably, just a little bit. Then again, I did spend most of the day talking, because I'm a cashier, that's what happens. So, my voice is not necessarily- it's- it's worn out, but it's mostly just the fact that, like, I don't know. The flavor of the beans I ate for dinner is still kind of lingering, and I'm salivating a bit more than I probably should be, which is likely partially at least due to the fact that I'm thirsty, and it goes on. You know. Oh my god. Well, you got me. You got me, little horn. I hope you're proud. Right at the end there. God damn, give me a tears up. That's not a tears up, but I'll take it. And you know what? I do still have the D20. I can do some cool stuff with that. I just uh, have to find some things to use it on. And I remember back over here, there's some money. I might just use it on that, on the Cursed Skull right there, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to get too much if I use it there. Oh, I almost perfected that. No! No, my perfect streak. Dang. It was close. There we go. I don't really think there's any there's any gonna there's going to be anything worth re-rolling. Hi there, pride. Well, somehow I managed to avoid taking damage. Wild how that works out. 
Let me see what this is real quick. Chariot. Oh, I'll keep the chariot. You know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to reroll these. And that could have been worth. That was basically irrelevant. Cool. So I got a key. I got a key for my D20 charge. That's... That is that is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Alright. Fine then. You want to be that way? Suit yourself. I am going to check the shop. Oh no, black candle. I need it. I have a mighty need. All right. Well, this is this is this is the this is one of those really sad situations where I'm just like I need I need three more cents. I have to go shoot fires and poops. There's there's, there's nothing else like. Well, there's one other thing I could do. A couple things. And by that I mean I mean uh, find some spiders. That's uh, that's lovely. All right. I'll shoot the fires. There's one. Oh my god, there you go! Didn't even need to use it. Didn't even need to use that bomb. Ain't it lovely uh, ain't it lovely though when things work out like that? It's pleasant. Alright. Well this is transitioning to the next level. If you'll excuse me for just a brief moment, I'm gonna go grab my bottle of water. Man, oh man. I just, I made this really silly mistake of not grabbing it before I started, and I suddenly started, like, really, really feeling the effects of not having a supply of stuff to keep my voice fresh. Yeah. That's better. Much better. Also, I'm terribly sorry if you can hear my computer right now. I just noticed how loud it actually is. That's, uh... Is not supposed to be like that, as I'm sure you're all aware by now. So, yeah. You have b b b whoa Okay. That was cool. Never seen that happen before. So yeah. Uh, poor, poor, hot, loud computer is hot and loud. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm probably dead here. Oh, f <laughs> I should have used the chariot card. See, I may be, I may be a little bit more functional than, um, than yesterday, but believe me when I tell you that just because I'm slightly better rested doesn't mean I'm going to be thinking any better. Honestly, truly, my mind is still stuck back on the register also. You know what's really sad about that? That was looking to be a really good run. It really was. I had the cancer trinket. Which alone makes the run way, way better than your typical run. Ugh. I had the Cancer Trinket. I had the Pentagram. My damage was pretty good. Basically, I took a break for a moment. My mind got, um... What's the word? Removed, I guess. Removed from the situation at hand. From the run. From the game. For just a few seconds. And then I came back. And then I came back and everything was terrible. Because I suck. It's actually just entirely because I forgot I had the chariot card. Like, if I, if I had remembered, I would have been fine, but... But chariot card? What? I don't have a chariot card. Why would I have a chariot card? Also, why am I so bad? Does anybody know? Mm. I know I'm not that bad, but I'm... Bad enough to... Frequently make some really stupid mistakes. <sighs> oh, boy. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Cool. I'm happy to have it. Latchkey is nice. I appreciate the thing. Man, here's to hoping I don't screw up this run. <laughs> I guarantee nothing. Although, to be completely honest, the run, the, the room that I died in was just like... I, I know that I should have used the chariot card, but you're just... It's a really, really sad state of being when you need a chariot card. To beat, a, to beat a room on the second floor. Like, when the chariot card is necessary. It's... It's not... 
It's something that probably shouldn't happen too often. It's just like, how many champions were in there? How many of them flaming hoppers? Crazy. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's better, probably. Well, in that case, let me go ahead and pop this in here. Just to see about, um... I wanted to see if I could blow up any any more pots than just the one, but I guess not. Whatever. Whatever. Suit yourself, game. I won't be mad. I'll just be marginally disappointed in you. Doesn't mean you can't make it up to me. You could, uh, you could give me the cancer trinket again. I would appreciate that. <clears throat> God damn, what a stupid way to die. I have a chariot card. I should have used it. My brain. My poor, poor brain. <sighs> All of me, in fact. Ugh, I really hate how late I started uh, recording this, but um, it was just like talking to a friend. Like, I, I got really caught up in a conversation. Well, when that happens, let's just say that I tend to forego sleep a little bit. It's a, it's a bad habit of mine. So what am I supposed to do here realistically? Like, I actually don't know how to get through this without taking damage. Do I, like, do this a lot? That... I guess that works. Huh. Cool. Well, you learn something new every day. In my case, it's how to deal with the room that I probably should have already known how to handle. Like, ages ago. Maybe when the room was first a thing. Pretty sure that room was uh, was added in Afterbirth, I want to say. You'd think I would have known about it by now. How to handle it. Uh, I'm going to go find the item room before I fight the boss. That decision is made mostly on a whim right now, but I feel like I should. I don't know. Oh, you guys again. My temporary arch nemesis. Nemesis? Nemesis is... Why is it always the champions that hit me? Why this? Drive by! Drive by? Drive by. Drive by! This is how I'm gonna handle this! Drive by. Drive by. Drive by! There we go. Half down. This is really silly, but it seems to be working pretty well. What a great idea. There we go. Now I can actually be a little bit more frugal with my energy. Hermit and Wheel of Fortune. Could I have a bomb, please? This is not a bomb. Can I have... Like, three bombs? Can I have four bombs, actually? Game, if you could just give me four bombs. And then, like, the cancer trinket, and then friggin', like, I don't know, polyphemus, soy milk. <laughs> if you could just give me all of the things that I need right when I need them. Then there would be no challenge, and the appeal of this game would be gone. That's not actually true. A, lar a large part of the appeal of the Binding of Isaac is like seeing all the different item synergies and how they interact with each other and stuff. So it's not like it's not like removing the challenge would remove all of the appeal. It's just that a lot of the appeal would would vanish because you want to see the cool synergies and then you want to see how well they actually work, right? And if there's no challenge because the game is giving you everything you want right when you want it, well, what's the point? Virgo is fine, fantastic. Fantastic! There you go. It's like fantabulous. It's a word. It's a it's a compound of multiple words. <laughs> oh no, monstro! Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? I got nothing. I got nothing, yo. This is impossible. Absolutely impossible. Improbable, unlikely, etc. Okay. Okay, okay. 
Be be the stationary turret you always dreamed of being, Monstro. Don't worry, I won't judge. Especially because you're dead. You know what? A range up is actually fantastic right now. Oh, yes. Functional range, it's amazing. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Okay, well, I'm shit. That's good to know. I can't play this game right now. I don't even know why. I don't feel that out of it. I just can't play. This is sad. I blame the beans. Oh, what, what I mean by that is my dinner was like... Let me see. My dinner was a quarter of a can of baked beans. Just eating cold out of the can because I don't care. And I get the distinct impression that while I feel full, that was not enough nutrition. I'm kind of feeling that way. I don't know whatever gave me that idea, right? Not a clue. Absolutely not a clue. It's like I'm playing fine sometimes, then I'm playing like shit other times, and it just seems to be switching rapidly, pulsating between the two. It's bizarre. I don't like it. Uh... I'll take the hermit and the sun with me. I will, um... Okay, so I've determined that I cannot play for shit right now. At all. Not even a little bit. Because every time I make a good play, it gets completely overshadowed by two bad ones. And that fucking means that I'm going to die again. Ugh. Oh, my. All right. All right. I'm going to set something straight real quick. If I die on this run, which is incredibly likely, apparently, I... That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Thanks for watching.